Joe, which is that the U.S. Federal Reserve launching a joint liquidity operation with other major central banks over the weekend. Steve Weisman joins us with those details. He's on the Squawk News line, sir, with them. Steve? Yeah, good, good morning, Andrew. Yeah, the Fed yesterday announced that it agreed with five other central banks to make essentially make dollars more available if needed around the world, saying they're going to provide what, are, what they're calling enhanced swap lines. It's going to auction off seven-day money every day instead of just once a week, which they were doing under the old plan. So just in case people don't know, here's what a swap line is. Central banks exchange currencies to make money more available in their banking system. So an example of that would be the ECB puts dollars – or sorry, puts euros at the Fed. The Fed puts dollars at the ECB. It's a kind of no-loss transaction that's usually pretty quickly unwound. So the question, guys, is that is this needed or is it just preemptive? There are no indications right now, kind of like there were during the uh, great financial crisis, no indications right now of a dollar shortage, which is why the plan might typically be done. But it does have the potential to suggest that one exists and the situation is worse than it appears. I asked Luke Crandall about this from Rights and ICAP. He says it's a win-win for the Fed. If it's needed, you stop the probability of something spinning out of control. If it's not needed, you get a data point every day showing that nobody's used it. We'll know during the day if anybody has taken this money down. So you can see it was used a lot during the great financial crisis. Those are the spike there on the left. And then again, during the pandemic, they're relatively quickly unwound, and they've not, they don't result in any losses here. Uh, and like I said, we'll know every day if central banks make use of the swap lines. Almost certainly is to preempt any need for dollars in Europe created by what you guys were just talking about, the takeover uh, of Credit Suisse by UBS. And just uh, to preempt perhaps your next question, take a look at what's happened now with Fed futures. Um, 59% probability of no hike now with the kind of risk-off trade this morning and the decline uh, in bond yields, 59 41%. That's the reverse of where it was, I guess, even uh, just uh, early last night, even. It's, it's turned around this morning.